Deep inside these containers, stored at more than 300 degrees below zero, Dr. Laura Rush and her colleagues are looking for answers. They want to find better ways to battle cancer, and in these tissue samples donated by dogs, they just might find them. Dogs and humans get a lot of the same types of cancer, and so the more we can learn about cancer in dogs, it's going to help the humans as well. It was that idea that led to this, one of the first nationwide tissue banks at Ohio State University's Comprehensive Cancer Center. Here, researchers can study and share tumor tissue that can be just as valuable as human samples, but much easier to find. See where it's all bumpy there? Thanks to doggy donors like Bodie. When this seven-year-old greyhound lost a leg to cancer, his owner saw an opportunity to give back. He may not make it, but I feel good that even if he doesn't make it, his tissue may help a child someday. Which is entirely possible. Experts say under the microscope, human and dog cancers are nearly identical. So they hope to collect and share some 3,000 samples over the next three years. We hope that our experiments on these tumor samples will eventually lead to better treatments, earlier detection strategies, and better ways to prevent cancer. Which could someday not only save the lives of people, but their pets as well. At Ohio State University's Comprehensive Cancer Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. You're such a good boy.